Have you ever wondered how to connect two things in the OBD2 port at the same time? Well, I wonder the same thing. So now I'm gonna try to do that today with this. This is a Y cable, uh, OBD2 port, two things at the same time. Does it work? I have no clue. So we're gonna find out today. You're gonna be with me to find out. Let's go. Okay, so it's supposed to be simple, but I'm a little bit scared uh, on what could happen, you know? Um, I got this thing from eBay. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere else, so here's a 50-50 chance that it's gonna work and a 50 chance that it's gonna my car up. So let's let's find out. The reason I'm getting this is because I want to plug again the end gauge that I'm not using right now uh, because the OBD2 port is using the smart box for the for the exhaust. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully the computer won't tilt. <laughs> And yeah, I can use both. Just cross the fingers. All right, let's disconnect. This is the smart box. Hide the other one here. This is the hand gauge. Now, let me connect this first. Man, this thing is huge. I wasn't counting on having this thing sticking out so much. Right, let's try it. Both connected. Let's try it out. So we need to two plugs they're both connected smart box engage yep it is working let's see if the it's soft. It's working. Yeah. Let's quiet down. Oh yeah. They're both working. It's not giving me any kind of errors. We're good. Oh yeah, there you have it. You can have two OBD2 things in the same OBD2 port with that cable. And that is badass. Uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. I will try it out. Uh, I'm gonna drive it around for a couple weeks and see what happens. If it gets me any kind of error or something, I will let you guys know. Uh, but for now, it seems to be working perfect. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned for the update. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know your what you think about it. And I see you on the next video.
Bye.